Okay, I'm gonna try it a little bit differently this time. I am in a chair because, you know, I like to use my hands when I talk, so I felt like I was waving at the void last time, so that's the first change. And what this is, is, you know, that recently Well Made sent me that great box of doll clothes, and I also sewed a big, ridiculous pile of doll clothes last month. So what I have done is I have taken everything from the clothes that Weller made sent and the clothes that I made, except for the clothes that have already been put on dolls and this. And I have made little outfits, or at least parts of outfits and coordinated things. And then I picked out dolls to try all of the outfits on. I have no idea if they're actually really going to fit or work or look the way I expected and I do plan to get into here and make more stuff. Let me put this away. And um, it's going to take a few videos because there are about 27 dolls. So I'm going to start this one with at least some dudes and maybe get into some odd-sized dolls. Like, I didn't make as many clothes for the guys, so mostly it's going to be just trying on a shirt or a pair of shorts. And I haven't undressed any of these dolls. If this gets to be a ridiculously long video, I will edit out taking out the clothes. But right now, like, I'm this guy who Cosmo sent. It's um, one of the Marble Rising. I don't remember the guys. I don't remember the character's name. So Cosmo sent me the doll, and Cosmo made the shirt, and the pants, I think, came in the assortment of stuff that James sent during my not making videos phase, which now I kind of regret that because it was an amazing box, and you would have liked to have seen it. But that's fine. You've seen, I posted a lot of pictures on Instagram, and thanked James profusely, and I'm thanking well and made profusely for the stuff she sent and thanking Cosmo profusely for the stuff that he sent. But I wanted to try this shirt on this guy because his body's kind of stocky. Let's see, for now I'm just going to throw all my clothes over there and I will sort them out later. Anyway, his body's kind of stocky and this shirt has a lot of room in it. And I know his hands come out, but I made the sleeves on this, made the cuffs open so they will fit over just about any doll, dude doll's hands that you can throw at him. This might actually be a little, uh, a little bulky for him. Let's see, let's raise up. And the child is out there on Discord chat with his friends, so I don't know if you can hear him, but he's pretty loud. So, I, I don't know, I wasn't even paying attention to um, where things are in relation to the camera, so there he is in the shirt I made. Again, when I did these clothes, I just went through my doll cloth stash and grabbed bits and pieces I didn't have much of either because I just never had a lot of it. Like this was a bit that I got in a, one of the local doll person's stashes, or I've had a decent amount of it and used a lot of it, like this in the stars, or sometimes like this. I have, I have a sizable amount of that left, but I just went ahead and used it as the accent for him. Collar might be open a little much. But, um, so there's one down. Let's see, where am I going to put these right out? And then another shirt just changing to with keeping the pants on the doll. It's the Winky Guard Ken, who I got way back when he was new, and I actually, cheapskate that I am, I actually paid full price for him in Toys R Us because I knew that he was going to be a rare thing that you're probably never going to see again. 
And that was right. He is again wearing stuff that I made years ago. This uh, shirt pattern is not quite as refined, I think, as my current shirt patterns. It's a little boxy and short. Although my current Ken's eye shirt pattern might be too, too fitted and too long. We'll see. And I am sitting in a chair for this. I don't usually sit in a chair when I do this because I don't usually spend a whole lot of time dressing dolls. So my angle is a little odd because, you know, there's a box here. I can't really put my legs under it like I could at the normal table. Anyway, okay, yeah, I think that's going to work for him. Let me get his jewelry sorted out. And normally when I change doll clothes, I change jewelry and everything too, but since I'm just changing his shirt, I'm not going to worry. I think I did put a little bit of um, usable interfacing in the collar to make it lay flat because that really does help. Just put some. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't because you know I like to take shortcuts. So yeah, this is a much better fitting shirt than the one he was wearing before. And I will eventually get all the pictures of all these dolls up on Instagram. Probably take them singly, but I might um, say and take a group shot. Okay, this is a Kelly Girl Blaine. I think I think it was one of the Kelly Girl Blaines. Head on an action figure body with a little paint over his eyes and some yarn glued to his head, and he is dressed for winter time. He's going to get considerably more clothes changed because I'm going to try this pair of shorts on him. And again, the cloth I got for these shorts is just enough to make these shorts. And in retrospect, I really should have used this part that ended up in the back as the front. Because the front does the thing where the pattern almost matches, but not quite. This body has a really weird foot design. It makes shoes actually really easy to get on and off because it has no real heel. But the feet are pretty ugly when they're bare. Let's see, and it's a action figure body, so it's a little um, burlier than Ken. So I'm assuming that these shorts I made will fit. If not, then I will just chuck the naked doll into the pile of stuff to sort out later. With apologies. Okay, that fits him decently well. I probably should put a um, snap at the waist. So he does need a shirt. So my Ken size, my Ken size stuff is just kind of buried down here because I don't get into it that often. Because although I have a lot of Kens, I don't have as many. So a shirt, existing shirt. That I haven't thought about. I'm resisting the temptation to grab. Actually, you know what? I could just put him in the white shirt that I just took off of the Winky Ken, Winky Guard Ken. I could do that. I could put him in Ken shirt. Actually matches the color pretty well on the shorts. So there's some options. Shirt I made, shirt I made, shirt I made with loud print, shirt I made with loud print, shirt Cosmo made with loud print. Kind of coordinates. Now I use him. Let's see. Mattel shirt. Mattel shirt. Mattel shirt. 
the towel shirt. And then we get to the sweaters. I think the colors are right, but the uh, spirit isn't. Okay, so since I'm trying not to take as long with this as I did before, do we want to keep it completely me made and get them the shirt? Or honestly, I think I need to keep it me made because this shirt probably will fit an action figure guy while this Ken shirt will not. I mean, it will, but it won't be pretty. This, and then we'll find some shoes and maybe socks for them. And maybe other things. I would try to tuck it in, but there's not enough. I don't think there's enough room in the shorts for that. No, there's not. I wonder if I could do. That sort of fake tucked in just to the front thing. Yeah, we'll do that. All right, shoes. He needs shoes. So I'm gonna have the box open and might go ahead and put away the shoes he was wearing. Um, <clears throat> haven't coordinated my doll shoes for a while. Just put them like that. I'll use orange and blue. Like I said, this foot design is awkward looking, but it's so easy to put shoes on because there's no heel. You know what? I think he doesn't need socks. I think we'll go with a sockless look. And I find it hilarious when the camera recognizes doll faces as faces. Alright, does he need anything else? Any other accessories? Yeah, the guy dolls don't quite have as many opportunities for accessories. Oh, I can put one of Cosmo's bandages on him. How about we do that? Let's see, pastel or bright. What have I used the least of? Let's see, go with pastel. We'll do a pastel green. Thanks again to Cosmo for those little stickers. No? Yes, no. I don't know. I mean, I'm not getting direct feedback. Someday I might actually be equipped to live stream this thing, but I'm not now. That is really tempting to leave them in those horrible glasses. I don't think those will sit on his neck, right? I'm just making him more and more obnoxious, aren't I? meant to mark there's my alarm clock is right here I need to post things around the alarm clock Let's see anything do I want to try to find a more respectful pair of sunglasses for him or leave them like that um 
I'm gonna leave them like that. Just so I can move on to the next doll. Almost said next person. Alright. So <laughs> Okay. Um of course this next one is gonna be even worse because I um, made two pairs of shorts like out of this print, this lizard print, which I've had for ages that somebody else commissioned, they sent to me and commissioned me to sew stuff out of it and then I've been sewing on it a little bit off and on for years. So I made this pair of, pant of shorts and a pair of shorts with an elastic waist and then there was just a little bit of it left that had landed next to a leopard print that I was using for other things. Like I had all this cloth I wanted to use in a pile. And I thought, oh hey, it looks pretty good with that leopard print. So I had the lizard print next to the leopard print for a while. And then it landed next to a completely unrelated fruit print. And I said, yeah, I'm putting those all together. So I made this and there wasn't quite enough of that. So I got the gingham to be the lapels and collar. And then I lined it with this, which Susan sent this, I think, I think um, Pleasant Old Men in Pink Shirts sent the, the gingham that I used for the collar and the lapel. Local doll person provided this. Said, um, this was sent ages ago for a commission and then I actually did buy a fat quarter of the leopard print. So I uh, have this going on. But needed a shirt well well or made in the things well or made scent included this shirt which the collar was a little rumpled up and I will admit instead of getting the iron out and ironing it properly I just like held it in place and breathed on it really heavy <laughs> but that did flatten the collar out so I'm gonna see how horrible all of this goes together onto this um, Ken head that dull junk painted ages ago. And he's on a Liv Jake body, which is a little thinner than regular Ken, which is why I'm gonna... I think this pair of shorts I made for modern Barbie size should fit him. And I'm pretty sure this shirt is from Vintage Barbie, so I think it should fit him as well. But this is all going on theory. see what I'm doing over here. So shirt theory is good. Like I said, I'm in this chair here and I can't really turn and use this like table. But I didn't like, I didn't like standing so high in the other video so that you couldn't see my hands, but I don't know how much I'm gesturing with my hands now. All right. So the shorts theory also works. Yeah. Thread. Yes, I'm terrible at pulling threads out. Can I tuck the shirt in? At least in the front. Again, if you just heard my child, he is playing video games and they are super sarcastic. So that's why I said that. If you didn't hear him, never mind. Okay. And it's tucked in in the front. Now the moment of truth. I mean, I did try this jacket on a can. I was using the fit model as I made it, but I have not seen this stuff all together. You know what? I'm getting a super Ricky Wilson in the video for Song for Future Generation vibe off of this. And that's a good thing. All right, so he needs shoes. Let's see, can he... Still playing with his hands. Because yes, when I make jeans for dolls, they do have real pockets. All right, shoes, he needs shoes. I want to give him regular Ken shoes and not need this fancy stuff. Do 
right? And the big chunky old Blaine shoes. Generation girl boy Blaine. That could work. I like how they are two tones, so this like there was a little bit of care put into making them. Wait, did I sound too sarcastic when I said that? I'm sorry. If, as usual, I'm not mumbling, I think you can hear me now. I think I'm getting a little more used to this, even though this is only the second one. But I know a lot of you are saying, don't worry about mumbling, you're fine. So I'm going to assume that I'm fine. Or do we want a white, just all white shoe? I think we want an all white shoe. Or... Do you want to do... I mean, I like, I'm not, I'm not making the effort to put it all in his foot because he's not wear I like the shape of the loafer, but I don't like the navy blue of the loafer. So right now it looks like it's going to be these white shoes. And I'm not sure if he needs socks. Let me double check so I didn't miss the shoes in this box, because I feel like I did. Yeah, okay, this is what I was thinking of, but this won't work because it's a little too formal and blue. Oh, 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 maybe. Because like I said, I like the idea of the loafer, nothing too formal, but in white. I like the shape of that, but it is ivory and everything else he's wearing is white. Or we could just go. Completely casual. It's tempting because there's so much green in the jacket. Like, I don't know how normal I want him to be dressed. I mean, when I say normal, how much like a normal person I want him to be dressed and how much of a flight of fancy I want him to be. You know, I'm going to go with the sandals. And dig out the other one. These, I know, came out of the other box, but they really should be in this box because they're white. Yeah, I really do need to get a box of Ken. Ken and probably Stacy and Kelly, Shel Chelsea, only size shoes in another box. I think I do have room for one more box in this stack. Because I used to have one more box, but then I went through and I consolidated and downsized a lot of stuff. And Of course, the collection has grown again since then. All right, so, and I could give him a watch, but I don't think I'm going to, but I don't know if I have a hat. Where's my hat bag? This is scarves, I think, yeah, that's scarves. that I recently redid this, so I don't have my little baggies memorized yet. Okay, that's purses. Let's start with baggies. I don't know if you can tell what I'm doing since I have him laying behind a bunch of stuff.
again, I'm thinking Ricky Wilson. I'm thinking Little White Trilby for a half of this. I know I don't have anything like that. And I completely forgot about this bag of shoes. Stuff that James said that I have not organized correctly. You know, maybe this is why I couldn't find what I was thinking of because it's actually in here. And there's so much stuff in here I forgot about that I'm sure I could have used in those dressing bells before. Again, because I'm running out of space in my boxes. So maybe a more modern sandal. more modern sandal. Watch someone take 20 minutes to pick out a pair of sandals for a dollar. Come on, has it done. So I guess I'll make these about an hour because people seem to not mind the fact that the last one was an hour. I don't even know if you hear me originally. And um, like I said, since I am making these to sort of be background noise, then I figure the longer they are, the easier it would be to build a playlist, right? Or do we want to do a uh, hiking boot? I'm going to go with Sandal. I don't even know who. Oh, these are from Snap Stars, that's right. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to throw the green sandals just into this bag, and maybe I'll remember that it's there. I think everything in here is paired. I think I took out the odds, the odd shoes and put them in with all the odd shoes that Queen of Squid sent. Thank you. That I will someday do the jewelry. And, oh yeah, there's this too. some bags down there so that I haven't figured what to put in them yet, but I'm sure I will. Okay, so. I don't think these shoes have right and left, which means that they just look wrong on both feet. So, okay, here's our Vaguely Ricky Wilson, dull junk painted epitome of when you sew it together, it goes together. You know, that's my number one philosophy for mixing prints. Because who's to question the artist for choosing stuff that goes together, even though in this case I largely chose it because it was laying next to each other and looked kind of cool. So, there's him. See, I have, I have one more guy here. He is another doll junk custom from a while ago, and he is in this bag because he is completely painted green. Here's his face, which the camera does recognize, even though he's green. So what I have for him, again, is just a pair of shorts. This is also cloth that somebody sent me this is also cloth I used the last scraps of that when I sewed it together I realized that the front where I cut out should have been what I cut out for the back because the back has a wider variety of chairs and the front is just the same chairs over and over. So this guy has basically been in this jumpsuit since I got him. I'll go ahead and put these goggles away just because the box is right here. And, um, I'm assuming he's not stained because he's painted, but if I take this jumpsuit off and find he is stained, I'll be a little, um, chagrined. You know, last time I did dealt with this, uh, tiny bulging necklace, I could see better. I will show you this once I get it fastened again.
I don't know if you can see me struggling with this or if I'm going to cut this out. Okay. Anyway, these are the dogs, some dog tags from an MNC Toys Power Team, World Peacekeepers. They had a lot of names. Look how tiny and fine it is. So they're cool. I'm going to go ahead and put them away in here too because I do not want to lose them. They go into a special slot away from the other necklaces but with glasses because that made sense to me once upon a time. I know I figured out which one of these was purses before. Again, I said I shouldn't be putting stuff away as I'm working, but... Okay, this belt is from a ridiculous set of action figures I got in the early 2000s. Made by the action figure company 3-0, they're called the Zero Band. The figures themselves were not great quality. Their clothes were really amazing, although really all I have left from their all I have left from the set in general is like two belts and these sh two pairs of shoes, these shoes and another pair of shoes. But I bought the set because they had the most accurate sixth scale musical instruments, especially the drum kit available at the time, possibly available ever. That's not like licensed. I know there are licensed guitars. But the belts are all these wild amalgamations of iron-on studs and loops and jump rings. Which I could probably recreate that if I wanted to, but I don't want to. Alright, this action figure jumpsuit somebody gave me, so I don't know where it's from. It's also fairly nice, except I think, I think the first guy I put it on got really stained. And so I decided, well, I would put it on... Put it, his other hand came out. Put it on this body because it shouldn't stain because it's painted. But over the years, you know, stain, paint can stain. All right, can I get this off without taking the shoes off? Because when I first received this um, figure, one of the ankles was busted up and I figured out how to repair it, but I have no idea if my repair is, like, good. So I'm a little hesitant, but it just slid out completely, so we can do that. Because he's an action figure, I forget how action figures are designed to come apart. All right. Uh, so far, no appearance of staining, but he has some thread stuck in his hinges. This is a shirt I made a while ago. I actually kind of forgot he was wearing under there. Well, I'm going to go ahead and leave the shirt on and just add these shorts to it. Maybe. Maybe we'll decide that these shorts deserve a different shirt. he has big old boxy action figure shoulders. But I, did, I think I think I used the only white shirt I had to spare. Again, the uh, Ken shirt is that oh I could do. You know what, I'm gonna do that. Mixing prints but differently, alright. And since this shirt actually I made it four action figures, so it doesn't have a back fastening, it's made to go on and off over the head, because most action figures you pop their head right off, and I'm not going to do that with him. So hopefully I won't peel his um, hair off. I know it's just glued on. You know, I don't think I thought about that. Action figures. When I first um, put this on him years ago. And so this might be a video of me completely destroying an action figure John customized a long time ago. In which case, I will repair him for pictures. I don't know if you can see that I'm very gingerly. There we go. 
Alright, now I gotta figure out how to put that um, arm back on. Alright, I see where it was screwed in. It, is that a break? Or is that just bad design? I think it was just bad design. Yeah, I think the, um, it just literally, plastic just crumbled. But I should be able to get him dressed again. Or not. Let me get that arm up. dolls fall apart when you get them dressed too, right? Perfectly normal. Same with you, so I use this the same. I can't tell. Because there's a little screw here, I can't tell if I actually put it on the screw or the plastic work. I think the plastic book. Because this was really delicate, like I said, when John sent it, when the leg was already, when the ankles was already broken, so these things don't always age well. And I haven't done much with him because I've been so afraid of scraping his paint. I'm doing this out of view of the camera again, aren't I? You can see what I'm doing. No, you can't. You can just see that I'm doing something. Here's a vague scritch of Velcro. Because I'm trying to make sure his arm doesn't fall off. Let's see. Sleeves. Hands back on. Let's re-break his wrist too. I don't think these are the hands that were originally supposed to do this body, and that's why they're not too well anchored. I'm tempted to put his hand in his pocket just as a way to help keep his arm on. All right, you know what, I'm gonna stop dealing with this now. For pictures, I'll figure out how to fix it. I'll just put the shoes and socks he already had back on because they're black and white. So, here's this dude. Shirt I made a long time ago, shorts made recently, John Custom Guy. Alright, and when I was trying to hopefully rig his shoulder up somehow for photos and for future preservation, get the bag and even keeping him in to keep his paint being scraped. Alright, so that's, yeah, that's all my dudes. And I have a few more minutes. I'm going to go ahead and move to some of the other dolls, the sort of not Barbie sized dolls. So the one on top, this is a Blythe body with a souvenir and um, dress me type doll head that Cheshire Tiffy, Dolls on Main Tiffy, enhanced the paint on and made her so wonderfully angry. The bo Blythe body is from James and every all her clothes are from James. But I wanted to try this dress that Wellermaid sent on her. Let's see. 
not going to throw that over there because she might put it back on again. And maybe by the next video I'll figure out some better way to sit and present this. Because I know I want to work over here, which is out of view of the camera, but if I actually move the camera over here, it's just going to be like straight on my boobs. And I don't think that's a good look. Okay, this is a separate piece, I believe. It's always interesting to see how other people do things, because this is not the kind of hook and loop tape I use, and that's not how I install it. But it still works. the base dress, which is adorable. Trying not to mumble. Anyway, okay. So there is that. Part of me says leave her in this yellow hat even though it doesn't work because as with most of these dolls, her hair is just like a cloud of fluff glued on badly. So much rage. So she tends to look better in hats. I'm not sure if I have any hat that matches better than the one she was just wearing. And I'm also tempted to put this cardigan back on her because doll size knit cardigans are wonderful and it matches. Well, coordinates and nothing I do actually matches. She probably should have different shoes too. Since these are neutral, but they're kind of a little more business class than what she's wearing. belts in their own bag. Okay. Belts used to be in a, the box in the bottom of the socks and everything, so. Belts in their own bag actually is very helpful. Okay. Noisy child. Bratzilla's hat. Kind of coordinates. It's so badly made, though. Now, where is that? See this? A little too bright, I think. It's kind of close, though. Hats, 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 hats. Trying to keep talking so I don't just wander off into my own brain. Hard to do because I'm going to keep thinking. Ignoring what the child is yelling out there. 
because they basically they try to constantly be snarkier, one up each other on the snark. I know you can't imagine my child would be like that. The problem with this hat is I usually have to pin it on a doll's head, which works fine on vinyl but wouldn't work on this doll. She needs a hat that actually fits on her head. Rummy macaroni and cheese Barbie. Yeah. I know I have a blue hat like this, but it's probably being warm right now. Alright, that's it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back with that yellow hat. Which I actually found in a thrift store. There was this tiny little you know, one of those kind of scary, cheaply made celluloid type baby dolls. They're only about this big. That was actually wearing a very nicely crocheted outfit. Including this hat. So, I mean, she would be wearing this hat if she could wear hats, but... And no, actually, I don't miss thrifting, not right now, because I am finally kind of sort of starting to make things. Barely. But kind of. Alright, she needs shoes. they clearly say skipper on the bottom. So. You know, dress your dolls for the life you want. I want a life where it's not 94 degrees outside and they can dress like this. Alright, how many minutes it's been? 48 minutes? I think I will do one, maybe two more dolls. So this is the next on the pile. This is a Famosa Toy Spain Agatita designed by Agatha Ruiz de la Prada. And I know I didn't say that right because I studied French and not Spanish because I can't rule an R. So, I mean, she's wearing something I made. I'm going to see if she fits in this crocheted dress that Weller made sent. And I will show you this doll's body. Agatha Ruiz de la Prada's thing is bright colors, loud patterns, lots of them, and hearts. So when she designed this body, she made it a heart. I don't know if you can see it. Let me take the necklace off so maybe a little clearer. How weird the uh, clavicle area is. So it can be a heart. Now, somebody in Spain sent me this doll like 15, 16, maybe 17 years ago. I would need to check my file dates from when I first took a picture of her. And, um, yeah, you're not going to, this, probably not going to find one of these dolls, but they did make them with different hair, pink hair, different hair colors and different hair textures, and it's an interesting doll. That's 
kind of easy to dress and kind of hard to dress. Because on the one hand she's small so she can wear a lot of vaguely blithe stuff, but on the other hand she has some really weird proportions. And her face is completely flat. I'm not sure if you tell it from the head on, but she has no nose, no nothing sculpted onto her face. So I've had people mistake my pictures of her for What's-Her-Face dolls, but she is very much not What's-Her-Face. Okay, well this dress really, really shows off her weird neckline. And this dress is missing a tie in the back, but actually, I've done this with crocheted dresses before, because I have a lot of cro dresses that my aunt crocheted for me when I was little, and I was pretty rough on them when I was little. So the uh, the ties are just completely missing. But what I do is I thread a piece of small ribbon through where the ties would be and tie it off that way. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. going in just under the ruffle. I get a few rows in so it's not right on the edge. It's not stressing. Just one row of crochet. I'm trying to hurry and that's making me unable to tie a knot and I'm also, I don't know if you can hear the child. He's 11, you know. Alright, so it does show off her odd neckline, but I'd say it's a, it fits, it fits pretty well. And since this doll is so stylized, I don't mind putting her in something like this that's so, um, revealing in, a t in um, just because the crochet not not titillatingly revealing. Alright, and her feet are kind of hard to find shoes for because they are dead flat. But I do have her original shoes which are red-ish and they might work. They might not because they are just as stylized as the rest of the doll. Maybe they're a little loose. She did not originally have socks, they're just kind of loose. Let me flip through yeah. Stacy shoes. She could go the uh, let's go girl route for her feet. Because fashions, you know, come back in style so much that these 1990s fake Birkenstocks would be trendy again, but they don't really suit the dress. Um, I might go with contrasting, coordinating, and not matching. Yeah, I think I'm going to use purple, especially since she has the blue hair. And that's already a big, it doesn't match anything. Have fungus gnats now because my plants, I moved a bunch of plants in here. I haven't treated them yet. Alright. So I don't know, I don't know if I should try to give her a scarf or a necklace for that neckline or a petticoat for the um big open parts of the dress. I don't think a bar yeah, Barbie necklace won't fit. I don't know if you can also see that her neck is just a column. It's just straight up and down. There's no neck shape to it. This is 
I mentioned it's a very stylized doll. I could probably use. I could put this in her hair. Her hair has been in a ponytail. That's this her stock hair. I've never taken it down. Oh, I don't want to use red since other parts of her outfit are not red. And she's not all the way red. I don't want to emphasize red. And I'm trying to do this fast because it's almost an hour again. Let me look at my scarves real fast. Which one of these is scarves? Yes, I have a lot of doll scarves. Because they're fun, they're kind of easy to make, and they turn up from strange things that you wouldn't expect to be scarves. A lot more than you expect. That would make the blue of her hair and the purple of her shoes coordinate, but um, leaves the red out. I probably have something that's red, purple, blue, and white. Alright, good adjust. I mean, a lot of the things in here are just pieces of cloth. <laughs> They're not even finished in any way. Or like this is just a piece of lace. But it's a really long piece of lace that you can get dramatic with. Yeah. Alright, unless I find something that's blue and purple and red and white. Okay, dark purple and blue and red and white. Well. You know what? I might go with that. How's it look to not? recognize that as a face. It does not. So, okay. So, how many dolls did I get dressed in an hour at this time? As I put the scarf into the zipper. Agatita. Grumpy, I forget what I named her. Oh, Fiamata. Just randomly. My dolls' names don't mean anything to me. I just give them names so they can have distinct file names. So she was Fiamata. I think I named him Verdigree, but I can't remember. And I will hopefully get something done for his arm by the time I take pictures. And again, if you can hear my child yelling, that's just how they play. Um, I actually don't remember what I named this guy. It's probably some variation on the name John because there are hundreds of those. I know it wasn't Ian. Ian was a different one. So, that's him. No comment. This is Mies. I know I called him Mies. I don't remember why. Has also some really cool action figure boots that I paid for. More than I probably pay for my own shoes normally a while ago, and they're wonderful. And they haven't fallen apart yet, like a lot of vinyl stuff. And color black shirt with this guy. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dolls in an hour. And. I'll see you when I do this again. Like I said, there's probably 20 dolls left, so I have a few more videos of doing this. If anybody wants to see them. Like I said, 
background noise for you while you do your own doll dress up time, like we're playing dolls together or something. All right, I'm rambling. Goodbye. <laughs>